All right, race fans, hot riders, we're still in Kenlin 10B. We're still chapter 12. We're still doing redox reactions. We're going to use the arrow method, but this time for exercise 12I, instead of showing you where the waters and where the H pluses or where the waters and the OH minuses go, it's just going to say acidic solution or basic solution. But remember, remember, the steps are identical from whenever they give you where the waters and the acid or base go or whether they don't. Let the solution tell you what to add and when. This is the last ABC steps, right? Acidic solution means H plus and water. We always add the charged species first and then the water to add the oxygen. If it's an acidic solution, you just do H plus and then water if it's basic solution, you have the OH- to balance the charge, and then water to balance the oxygen. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this reaction in acidic solution, and we're going to do this reaction in basic solution, just so we can watch the steps. Now, let's see how straightforward, quick, we can do those first six steps, because they're the same no matter what, whether you have acidic or basic solution. Step number one, oxidation numbers, let's go. Minus two, total of minus eight, so that's a plus seven. It's a plus three and a plus two, good. Arrows between things that are changing. Fe to Fe, Mn to Mn, good. Balance the atoms with arrows attached. Simple one to one ratio here, good. So one times zero gives us zero to start with and a plus three to end with, with the iron. For the iron to go from zero to plus three total, that means we had to lose three electrons, because we got more positive. One Mn starts off as plus seven, or a total of plus seven, and ends up, oops, as a plus two. How do you get from plus 7 to plus 2? Oh, you gain 5, right? Alright. Losing 3, gain 5. At least common multiple is 15. Everybody feeling comfortable with that? This 3 jumps to the end of this arrow, connecting the MNs, so that becomes 3 times 1. The 5 jumps down here, 5 times 1, rewriting 5 Fe plus 3 MnO4 minus 1 goes to 5 Fe plus 3 plus 3 MnO4 minus, uh, I'm sorry, Mn plus 2s. Okay, so I took a little quick step and filled these in right away. Do you understand that at this point, we've balanced by inspection? And we've not talked about the solutions at all. So all of these first six steps would be exactly the same for both. I'm just going to fill them in right here. Five, three, five, three. The only difference is in how we add our, basically how we get our char charges to balance and then our oxygens to balance. Okay, so remember, acidic solution means H plus one, H plus one first to balance the charge, and then H2O second to balance the oxygen. So let's do that right here. Charge. Let's check out the charge. Charge says 5 times 0 plus 3, negative 3, right? So it's negative 3 on the left. And what do we got here? 5 times plus 3 is plus 15. 3 times plus 2 is plus 6. So we've got negative 3 is equal to 
plus 21. Now, we have to make these equal somehow. And the way we do it is by adding H pluses to either this side or this side to make the charges the same on both sides. And I hope it's obvious to you that you need to add 24 plus on this side to end up with 21 is equal to 21. Adding 24 on that side means adding 24 H plus ones. Everybody with me on that? Okay, I'm going to quickly erase this and move this down. I thought I had room, but I didn't quite. I was going to have an eraser. Okay, so we've gotten the hydrogens to balance. No, we don't. Do we know that? No, how could we? We have hydrogens over here, none. We balance the charge. Now let's add waters to balance the oxygens. There's only one place that there are oxygens. So there's 12 oxygens on the left. So we need to have 12 oxygens on the right. What's the only way to get 12 oxygens on the right? We're adding 12 waters because we're adding oxygens by water. It's acidic solution. What's in so acidic solution? H pluses and waters. So that's what we have to use to get this to balance. And if we've done everything right, the hydrogens check out. Good. That's the acidic solution balanced. Alright, so remember, our stepwise got us down to 5 Fe's plus 3 MnO4 minus 1's going to 5 Fe plus 3's plus 3 M and plus two. And now we're in basic solution. So what do we know about basic solution? Basic means hydroxide. Solution means water. So we do this first to balance the charge using hydroxides, using minus ones. And then we use waters to balance the oxygen second. Okay, so let's go. Remember, the charge ended up being minus 3 on the left and plus 21 on the right. So how do we add minus 1s to get this to be the same? Notice that if we add minus 1s over here, we can never get the charges to balance out to be the same on both sides. Don't we have to add negative 24 on this side? to get it to be a minus 3. Well, how do you get negative 24 on this side? Aren't we adding plus 24 hydroxide ions on that side? Right? Because 24 times minus 1 plus 6, plus 15, is negative 3. Good. So we got the charge to balance on both sides. Now let's look at the oxygens. Oxygen says 12 on the left and 24 on the right. So we have 12 oxygens on the left and 24 on the right. Don't you need to add 12 more? oxygens, which means we add 12 H2O's on this side. And now we check hydrogen, right? Because we've got 12 oxygens plus 12 oxygens. Everything's balanced. And if you look, there's 24 hydrogens and 24 hydrogens. Balances out. So that's the balanced equation in basic solution. 24 hydroxides on the right. Okay, so all the steps all the way down to figuring out the charge on both sides is exactly the same. And then we just have to remember how to add to get things to balance the right way. 
and I'm not going to do any of the um, half reaction because there's literally no difference. You already know what the half reactions are, and you go about your business with those stepwise functions. Stepwise method. It's all about knowing the steps, practicing enough so that you don't make mistakes. Good luck.